Hey Pythonistas, Will here with a, another video. This time I'm going to check out uh, a Python library for dead simple flowchart creation. Uh, so you're, if you're interested in flowcharts, uh, stick around and I'm gonna walk through just experimenting with this neat little GitHub library. Okay, so basically I found this GitHub library like I find all other GitHub libraries just by Googling something I needed. I need a flowchart. Uh, for a project that I have yet to announce on here. Um, so I found Flow just in, uh, I'm not sure why there aren't more of these libraries for flow charts or visualizing graphs. Maybe it's because you can do this so easily uh, in some of the other Python visualization libraries, but I just don't find those libraries very easy or intuitive to use. Uh, so shout out to Cairo's uh, Aerospace I think it's Cairo's Aerospace uh, for this flowchart library. And this is essentially uh, a wraparound graph is for making frustration free flowcharts in a Jupyter notebook. So this, this needs to be done inside of Jupyter, uh, but it's, it promises to be dead simple. So I pip installed it. Um, and so from there, let's see what we can see. So basically I start my notebook by citing Jupyter Notebook here. And then that opens me up into this. Uh, now, note that um, it is 2020, and so Python 2 is deprecated. Farewell, thank you for all your hard service. You should not be using Python 2 unless you are maintaining older code bases, and many of you will be. Uh, but for now, for everything, please use Python 3. So I just essentially pulled out the, um, uh, essentially pulled out the example there, but I'm gonna back up here. Uh, basically by the end, you get a flowchart, uh, which is what they promised, which is fantastic. Uh, so let's take a look at this. So you do from flow just in import star, which isn't a great start, but, uh, it's fine for working in a notebook. Uh, I have no problem with that. So we set our base. So flow just in base underscore base font name. You set the font. I'm going to try Arial. I wonder if I could do comic sans let's see and then shape box so i'm not sure exactly what the options are on this function so what i'm going to do is copy that and i can do dir on the function uh let's see oh okay i didn't run this Okay, so now I can see this function and all of its attributes, which there are <clears throat> no methods that are actually uh, that I want. Okay, so not much from there. Basically, we start out uh, creating classes using this base. Uh, and so you have just all of the op these options that you could set. So I set a fill cover of navy blue. I think I could probably try lime. Let's try that. I could set the label here. So I'm going to set it to nada. Font color. Uh, let's change that to black. I change this to triangle. Font name, Arial. I'll leave that. Uh, you have another note. So these are nodes um, or or types of stopping points, type the type of node in your uh, flowchart. So light yellow here is a note. Here's style filled dashed. I don't think there's much documentation to be honest about what you get. Uh, I'm happy to be wrong about this, but uh, basically it's just bare bones and you just play around with it, which it's a small library. I can appreciate that. Um, so I had a chart already, but basically we have a chart after we set up this initial stuff and there's nothing there. So it's just 
these are the defaults for our chart. So we set up all the defaults. Now we can actually create the flowchart. Okay, so I think the hello world here is just typing hello world. And then that creates the node, adds a node, and then you could see hello world right there. Now, I guess it didn't like Comic Sans because it defaulted, seemed like it default to a different font there. So maybe I could say Arial. And you, you will see the font change. So I'm not sure. I want my Comic Sans, but I'm not sure how to get it. We could change it to Courier. Okay, so let's leave it at that. Uh, and then our default was a box, so I'm not sure why it didn't do that. Let's try triangle. No. Hmm. Shape, 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 shape. Maybe the nodes only can use this shape attribute, otherwise it's a default. Okay. Okay, but we wouldn't use this like that. We would say chart.start and let's say which would you use uh, are you a programmer okay so basically i have two charts here so let me block out this node and start again okay so are you a programmer and then let's go up so then we say chart.node, uh, chart.edge. Okay, so that <laughs> I wasn't needed to brush up on my syntax for this. Uh, so basically I instantiated a start, start of the chart. Are you a programmer? Uh, I was confused for a minute, so I did help chart.edge. But basically what we need to do is uh, from the start give give this an edge and say chart dot if do you write any code and then you can see we go from are you a programmer to do you write any code so i'm going to put that in step one let's say and then step one dot no let's say chart dot node dot no and then I need to say yes. Okay, so I need to say step one, no. Put the no there, and then I think that's going to be the termination. And then uh, I can do another node off of that. Uh, or I could just say, I should just be able to say yes here. Nope. Okay, I need to say chart.end. Okay, and now lime is not a known color. So let's use navy blue. Go from the beginning. Are you a programmer? Do you run any code? No, nada is at the end. I can't see nada, so what I'm going to do is change that font color to white, and I'm going to change this to black. And I'm going to change this to sorry try again. <clears throat> are you a programmer? Do you write any code? No. Sorry, try again. Yes, then yes, you are. Uh, so basically, let's say that we wanted to get deeper in this. So what we would do would be go to, <coughs> would be go to the next step after yes. So let's do that. So we're not going to do the end yet. We're going to do the next node here. So chart.node, so then yes. 
then I think what we are going to need is the next step. Okay, so step two is going to be, if it's yes, if step one is yes, then chart.if, um, how many hours do you spend a week uh, coding? Okay, so then, okay, so then step, so that's not an if, uh, let's change this. You, you spend one hour a week coding. That wasn't a yes, no question. So step two dot no chart dot no dot node. But if it's yes, then we could do end step two dot yes, should be dot yes, chart dot end, you most certainly are. Okay, so let's go from the top. You can see that this is a matter of iteration and iteration. So are you a programmer? Do you run any code? No, sorry, try again. Yes, do you spend more than one hour a week coding? No, sorry, try again. Yes, then you most certainly are. So this is really large right now, which I don't know why that is. I wonder if we could shrink it, but you could see I'm controlling all of the flow chart node styles here. Shape, let's change the shape to square. Change the shape from box to, oh, I have a note here. Let's use the note class. Sorry, try again. Okay, so then let's add a note. I wonder how we can add a note. Okay, so let's put a note on the node. So step two dot node chart dot note dot node. But you probably still are. Okay, so no node. So let's debug that. Oh, I need to make this an edge. <clears throat> let's try that from the top. Let's see, uh, notebooks are great for some things, and I think this is one of them. Okay, so actually I wanted to add that to see that the note went on um, this edge when I wanted it to be on the no edge. So let's move this to step two dot no dot edge. And that doesn't have, so I think what I need to do is chain this. And let's see from the top if that works. Okay, so there it is. So are you a programmer? Do you write any code? No, sorry, try again. Uh, yes, do you spend more than one hour uh, a week coding? No, sorry, try again, but you probably still are. <laughs> okay, you don't have to, there's no time limit. If you write code, then you are a coder, in my mind. Um, then yes, you most certainly are. So this is, now what's annoying to me is the size of this. So if you figure out a way to shrink this, I'd appreciate knowing. I'm not sure why this is so large. Uh, I'd like to figure that out. But basically, uh, this little library, Flowgiston, let's show, <coughs> I guess Flowgiston, uh, is a way to create a flowchart. And uh, I think I could export this. I could probably do export it to PNG. Let's see. Process, no, and edge, save. So let's see, help um, chart.save. File name directory, a wrapper around graph is 
digraph save. So you could save it. I'm not sure. Let's see, render. Okay, render. So there's certainly a way to save it. Uh, I'm not going to dabble in that now, but uh, hopefully this was helpful to some of you who want to create a flowchart, want to do it in Python, where you control everything, want it to be dead simple. Um, so hopefully that's helpful. And uh, let me know what you think. And uh, I'll see you next time.